Namaste, beloved. Let's talk about conquering social anxiety. Social anxiety is the worst. As empaths, we are no stranger to this experience because we are constantly absorbing emotional energies, both observed and unobserved. It's very easy to become overloaded in social situations without necessarily understanding why. There is a social experience that scientists recognize as emotional contagion. Do you ever catch yourself looking the same way that someone else looks or scratching your chin because someone else scratched their chin? This is emotional contagion. So when it comes to the emotional realm, it is a well-known fact that others catch the emotional experiences of others through daily life. Those who identify as empaths do this to a much higher degree as the average person. And this can lead to increased social anxiety if we don't take the proper precautions. You can overcome social anxiety. It just takes time and practice. It's essential to notice where you place your energy and how you go about your daily social interaction. Are you reactive or do you think before you respond? Are you relying on the opinions of others or is it enough to simply know yourself and stand in your own truth? We have a choice to either surrender our energy or to anchor it inside so that we are the ones piloting our ship, our human body, and our mind. During situations that could potentially induce social anxiety, um, it is suggested that the empath cover their head or their brow before going out. Hats and bendies are always very fashionable. Along similar lines, it's important to keep in mind that energy is intensely exchanged through eye contact. Now, don't avoid eye contact because this can be perceived as an insecurity. Instead, when you feel that the energy is so intense between you and the person you have eye contact with, just look at their brow or in between their eyes. I promise they'll never notice. This allows for a less intensive uh, exchange. Keep focused on your breath during your social interactions. This will help you to remain calm and centered. This calmness can affect those who you're speaking with, which can make the conversation go a bit smoother. Additionally, in order to protect, project your energy outward, try asking questions. The more questions, the better. This helps the other person feel more valued and takes the pressure off the impact.